Howdy! It's Jim Arado, and this is May 2023. Driving through Kalkaska, Michigan, another wonderful little town in Michigan that just, uh, it's beautiful. You can see it's May, but there is uh, a little bit of snow on the ground. Uh, we still had a good time in Michigan and, and enjoyed all of these great little towns that we saw. I drove through Kalkaska briefly. It was pretty cool and I just thought I would uh, film because it's it's another pretty pretty Michigan town and uh, just found a couple of neat facts on Wikipedia July 5th 1908 a fire began in the middle of the business block and burned most of the stores local photographer E.L. Bibby I believe is his name took a number of photographs of the fire the resulting postcards were widely sold and can still be found today that's just interesting uh, a couple other fires have happened. In 1916, Ernest Hemingway visited and fished in Kalkaska and later immortalized the town in his story, The Battler. A historical marker has been placed at the nearby Rug Pond um, where, he, where Hemingway reportedly fished on that night. July 10, 1951, the Kalkaska State Bank was robbed by an armed man who fled and later attempted to escape on foot through a nearby swampy area. After three days of what was termed the largest manhunt in northern Michigan history involving the FBI, local and state authorities, the gunman, who had a long string of prior convictions, including manslaughter, was captured south of town. He confessed to the bank robbery and served 18 years. Um... It goes on. Lots of uh, lots of strange history with this little town. I like I like strange history. So uh, yeah, I thought I would mention that. And as you can tell, it's just just uh, pretty. Like so many other little towns in Michigan, it's just just so pleasant. And a couple of other interesting notes. In 1993, the town schools made national headlines when a financial crisis resulted in a two-month-long closure. Subs subse subsequent funding reform, reform improved the outlook um, for Kalkaska and similar small rural districts in Michigan. I wonder if the kids had to make those days up. And then in 2014, Walmart announced plans to open a store here. Previously, the closest store was in Traverse City, over 20 miles away. A debate ensued on whether the community's small town character could be preserved. The store was never built due to Walmart's decision to restructure growth plans. Yeah, good for you. I hope there's some uh, small independent businesses that are thriving um, because of that. So, yeah, anyway, Kalkaska, just a neat little town to drive through. I'd like to explore that Ernest Hemingway connection some more. That That's pretty cool. Anyway, are you from Kalkaska? What did I miss? Uh, let me know what I need to check out next time I'm there. Uh, it's definitely a pretty little community, and I love this area of Michigan. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what I missed. Thanks.